People have been talking about this image from the dollar bill for a very long time. And it has been analyzed and overanalyzed, and people have pretty much made up their mind. There's something about it that I discovered that I haven't heard anyone talk about. And it's going to call into question this thing called YouTube religion, that people already have their mind made up about pretty much everything. When we look at this image, because of the way it's laid out, we assume that we're seeing a four-sided pyramid. Because we look at the front and we see these four sides, we assume that this left-hand side over here that's kind of shaded is the same size. I always wondered, why is it just off-center a little bit? Why are we looking at this just slightly canted from one side? What is this dark spot right here? Why, why did they do it this way? Is it just a trick of photography? I mean, if they wanted it to look like a pyramid, why didn't they turn it a full 45 degrees? Well, I think I know why. Because something happens when you turn this pyramid a full 45 degrees where you would be looking right at this edge. And I'd like to share that with you. This is the image you would get. And what shape is this? See, I think we've been looking at the pentagons upside down. You always kind of want to default to put this uh, crest at the top. But when you flip it upside down, the unfinished pyramid is a pentagon. Now, here's the strange part about that. The image that you actually see is this one. This was an image that was just in the library <coughs> of Paint 3D when I typed in Pentagon. It's the only thing they have. Now, let me see if I can uh, zoom this in a little bit and show you what this image actually is. You see, it's not a Pentagon. It's not even a, it's not a pyramid, pardon me. It's a trapezoid that's just off-center a little bit. And when you look at this, this is exactly what is on the dollar bill. This side isn't as wide as this side, which would give more rise to this idea of something being unfinished. It's not a pyramid. It's a trapezoid that is just turned slightly. Now, here's the really weird part. You ready for this? Who remembers the serpent head in Peru? I did this video just a couple, two, three days ago. We're down in Peru. There is a strange um, formation out on the side of this mountain that they've talked about, even on the, you know channels like History and A&E and Discovery. And they can't figure out what all of these these holes are. Well, the first thing I saw when I saw it was the snake skin. And lo and behold, what did we discover? It ends right at a snake's head. As you can see right here. And I haven't added this color right here where this eye is. There's something down there making this look like an eye. I'm not sure what. But when you draw this straight line... We took it all the way down to Antarctica, to Union Glacier, the CIA base, and this area out in the middle of nowhere where they're digging for something. Well, guess what happens when you take it to D.C.? You see, it does, just doesn't go to Washington, D.C. It goes to a very specific place in D.C. If you draw the line, it takes you to this place called Logan Circle. And this is a statue in the center to a Civil War era general. Now I'm going to do some more looking into him. But here's the really weird part. If you go to the Pentagon, the actual Pentagon, if you draw a line straight through it, having flipped it upside down, 
like so. Guess where that line takes you? It takes you right to Logan Circle. So from the Pentagon, upside down, the unfinished pyramid, which is what this really is, if you can imagine this line here that bifurcates it being the, the one side, right to Logan Circle, Logan Circle, nonstop express train, right down to Peru, to Serpent's Head, and then continues on, right to Union Glacier. If this isn't smoking gun, I don't know what is. And I mean, it literally, the line goes straight to where the buildings are out here at the end of the runway. Let me see if I can kind of show this. It's hard to see in some years. Um, the runway is just right through here without any other reference. It starts here and runs this way. And there's another one up here. <clears throat> but this was the place that, for those of you who are unaware, the Fitbit data. Remember the Strava heat maps? The Strava heat maps showed that there was a base here where these guys were using these devices. And it showed this very strange image, one that matched one from Djibouti, which is how we correlated this one and the strange CIA base in Djibouti in Africa along with many, many other things. And then, of course, our last place, and I know this is redoing that last video, but I think it's important. Because this was one of the first and the most watched videos that I've ever done, was this site. Very, very strange things going on here. See, one minute it looks like this, and the next it looks like this, and they're digging something out here. I know people have made this allegation that it's some kind of a research station baloney. I, I don't buy it. I just don't. Because there's a trail, and this is another video for another day, that leaves here, and I'd have to go through a whole bunch of different images and years to show you this. There's a trail of markers that takes you all the way out here and then just dead ends in the middle of nowhere. And there is no imagery from this far inside of Antarctica. I mean, no real good high-res imagery. It's all, I mean, I know a lot of people think that what I show is blurry, but believe me, they found something. And they're working on something. And it all starts right here. This was no accident that they built the Capitol here. And how they built it and how they laid it out was in a way that even people hundreds of years later could follow this trail. Because that statue in Logan Square, it's set up on cardinal directions. Directly 180 degrees south, which is the way he's facing. He's The statue is of a man on a horse. And it's as if he is riding directly south. And there's all sorts of weird inscriptions on it, too. So there's a lot more to look into with this. With this uh, Logan, Logan Square. The man's name was Major General John A. Logan. And uh, we'll go ahead and bring up this picture. He fought for the Union, I believe, but he was from the South, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, well, native of Illinois, uh, second lieutenant, Mexican-American War, studying at the University of Louisville. Um, he was a Democrat of that time. He, was, uh, he denounced what he considered extremists on both sides. 
but eventually volunteered to fight with the Union Army during the First Battle of Bull Run. So Southern Illinois is one of those places where it's kind of a little bit of both. People think of Illinois and they think of Chicago, but a lot of Illinois is very, very especially Southern Illinois, uh, much like the South. A lot of really good bluegrass artists have come out of, uh, and country artists have come out of Southern Illinois. Um, Allison Krauss and Susie Bogus, just to name two right off the top of my head. But anyway, um, one of the inscriptions is Fond Nelly Roma, if anybody wants to look that up. F-O-N-D period space N-E-L-L-I space R-O-M-A. And I'm going to look more into that, but I'll let you guys get a head jump, a head start on me on that. So anyway, not a pyramid. It's a trapezoid that's just unfinished. Like, share, subscribe.